what's going on guys welcome back to the channel so i'm gonna show you guys why i do not uh try to tow a heavy trailer with the uh ram 2500 here with the 48 re transmission and the 5.9 cummins this is a 07 early 07 truck i love the truck uh but it does not tow very well and uh so this is probably about 20,000 pounds here. I've weighed this before when I had it hooked behind my 3500 GMC with Duramax in it. And uh, I think it, I don't remember, you had to go check out uh, the video taking the uh, Duramax and the tractor to the cat scale on my channel. And I want to say it scaled out around 28,000 pounds gross, uh, truck, trailer, tractor and everything. And uh, so the trucks are pretty similar in weight. So I'm guessing this is going to be about the same. Uh, this truck has 410 gears in it. It has uh, 33 and a half inch tires. Currently, they were 35s, but they're wore down. Um, it's about time to replace them. They're 33 and a half with the tape measure. Um, this truck has a 626512 uh, turbo on it. It's aftermarket turbo. It has a aftermarket intercooler. It has the Banks uh, high rim intake on it. Um, SMB cold air intake on the. Uh, engine there and the uh, edge programmer here I'm going to have it set on level 2 this edge is not very good um, it will be a lot better with EFI Live but I just never bothered to this was on the truck when I bought it so I never bothered to uh, change it or whatever because um, I don't use the truck for towing that much and I know if you put a lot of power through this 48RE without billet input shafts you're going to break something so anyway that's why I bought the uh, other truck uh, one of the reasons so uh, anyway I'm gonna uh, turn the camera around here and we're gonna see if we can get this thing rolling uh, it does not take off real well um, as I mentioned in a previous video when I did the towing test with the Duramax uh, it's much better taking off this thing is so high geared with its 48 RES 4 speed just does not work well at all but um, we're just gonna go down the road here a short distance about four miles or so to the gas station uh, whatever it is and turn around and come back I, I'm really just doing this for a video and I uh, really don't have any other reason to be towing this but anyway so we're gonna run down the road with this and come right back and uh, then we'll see what it looks like all right guys we've got this thing in tow haul I have it in four-wheel drive because I live on a pretty good incline here and uh, it's gravel and it, it'll spin. I've got this tractor all the way back as far as I can to keep the pin weight off this thing. And as you see here, it doesn't really want to go. It's about 1700 RPM. And as I say, this truck's got 410 gears in it. As you see, we're already 217 degrees and we ain't did nothing but take off. Yeah, we're not uh we're not going nowhere with this. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, guys, we went about a mile up the road and turned around. The truck does not drive good. Um, I've got plenty of trailer brakes, but the brakes on the truck just does not seem up to the task. It doesn't have an exhaust brake. Um, as you see, the transmission temp, 246, 247, and we've stopped and took off. Uh, well, we took off from here, went up the road, stopped, turned around, took off again. So we took off twice, and the transmission's already overheated. And as I say, the truck's got 14 gears in it. Not a good combo uh, whatsoever. There's one more look at it. Um, it does not look that heavy, but I assure you it is. And I've got this tractor. You see how far I've got it back right here. Let me turn these lights on. There we go, got some lights on. You see how far I got it back. I got it further back. I got about, it's almost six foot back. I've got it all the way. I've got this counterweight on here and it's hanging over the back of the, where the deck breaks over right there, as you can see. So I've got plenty of weight off of the truck. Most of it on the trailer axles, but I still probably got, I'm guessing there's over 2,000 pounds of pin weight on there because the truck's still squatted downhill. But, uh, so that's why I did not try to tow this trailer with this truck. Whew, that's what you call too much tractor and not enough truck. Here's a uh, look at the tractor here. For those of you who have not seen it, Mahindra 8560, water in the rear tires and counterweight back here. This tractor is over 12,000 pounds. So uh, anyway, that's what I had on the trailer there. And you know those tandem dual goosenecks. Weigh pretty close to 8,000 um, empty. So that's 20,000 pounds any way you look at it. And I have scaled it when I had it hooked behind the Duramax. And as I say, if you go check out that video on my channel, you will see the actual weight of it. Um, I was just gonna go down the road and turn around at the gas station, but uh, there's another little store there that I turn around at that's just big enough to turn around. Um, it's like a mile up the road from my house. I did not want to pull that any more. The suspension uh, without airbags or anything on a 2500 is just not enough. I could feel it, the dips in the road, I could feel it pushing the truck and uh, it had the suspension squatted down and the steering was light, as one wonder. And uh, also the transmission, as I say, those four speeds just will not hang uh, in the Dodges. Uh, the Fords may do a little better, but Ford had problems with the same thing, towing heavy. Um, I know people that had those pulling in hay fields and stuff back uh, when the E4OD, 4100s uh, were popular before they came out with the 5R110s. And uh, they had the same issues, transmission would overheat. They just, they wasn't geared right to be pulling that kind of weight. Now, if you take the same truck, put a standard in it, um, then you got something. Uh, the new six speed and, and higher, you know, they got 10 speeds out now, obviously, but um, the new six speeds uh, seem to be the ticket. And as I say, the 10 speeds, I'm sure are even much better because they got a lower gear ratio, but uh, trying to get that much weight rolling on an incline. And as I say, I used to, if you look at the very first video on my channel, I used to use that truck to tow a smaller tractor out of 65 horse Mahindra back then. And it and the trailer it was on, I had just a single axle uh, trailer. It wasn't a dual tandem. It was a single, uh, whatever they call them, two 7,000 pound axles. Uh, so I guess a single tandem trailer. And uh, that combo was around 14 to 15,000, depending on what implement I had on there. And that was just about all that truck wanted then. And uh, if I got in stop and go traffic, the transmission temperature would start overheating. And uh, it had 373 gears in it at that point, and I put the four tens in it, and I thought that would help pulling, but we also increased our weight carrying here about probably 6,000 pounds over what uh, that combination was. So uh, anyway, that's the reason that I got the Duramax and uh, needed something to tow with, and as I say, that uh, the four speed in the in the Dodge just is, is not it. That's not going to do anything but burn the transmission up, and um, it, it doesn't have the exhaust braking that the Duramax does with a tuner on the uh, the Duramax because it has a VGT turbo, and with the tuner I got on it from Duramax tuner and a tow setting, 
it applies the veins and the turbo, makes them go to 100% uh, when you're braking, when you got it tow haul mode, and it will slow you down. Um, no kind of exhaust braking on, on the 5.9 trucks. But as I say, I have pulled, uh, a friend of mine used to have a 07 dually truck with a 5.9 Cummins and the G56 six speed. And I pulled my last tractor trailer and it was like it wasn't back there. Um, but as I say, it was a 3500 dually, so it had the suspension and everything under it. And the engine pulled good with that six speed, but with a four speed, just not gonna do them with brake stuff. And uh, so anyway, I thought it'd be an interesting video. I know it's, uh, everybody likes to argue for Dodge Chevrolet and everything. And before the Dodge came out with a six speed transmission, their autos sucked. The six speed transmission they got, that 68 RFE, is not that great as far as strength wise, but it does have the gear ratios that it will pull because that's what's in my friend's 2016 dually uh, that he has. It's a nice truck. Um, I think I've showed that on the channel at some point. But uh, anyway, he pulls quite a bit with it. He hadn't had any trouble with it yet, but he's got stock tires and everything, no programmer. Uh, but the truck does pull good as geared right, but the four speeds just ain't. So uh, anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.